our economic recovery continues. But the Reserve Bank Governor today injected a note of concern about our high unemployment rate. Short-term casuals have been hit hard, often the first to be let go. Unable to access the JobKeeper wage subsidy, they've been overwhelmingly female and in industries dominated by women. The news is no better at home. Before the pandemic, hours of paid work were fairly even across gender. But women spent over two hours more on caring responsibilities and housework per day than men. When COVID sent millions home from work, you'd expect that to smooth out. It actually got worse. These hours don't tally exactly because, as many work from homers know, a lot of care responsibilities occur in parallel to paid work. But it might spark some discussion as we go through figures that have a dollar attached to them. The Australian share market was flat today as investors flailed about a drop in the iron ore price and what that might mean for the future. That 3% drop is substantial. Then again, the price of ore has gone up about $100 a tonne in the last two years. Bitcoin continued its rocket rise, even though many people are unsure about what it's fundamentally worth. The blockchain technology that makes it all work might end up being the most valuable thing. And New Zealand's market continues to hover near record highs. Being an island has helped, economically, in the past year. And that's finance.